Okay, so here we are. And I did go downstairs and cut another board. It's not cedar, but it, it'll do. And uh, I, I, I didn't mention it yesterday, but it was uh, a after I shoved that paper towel into the into the hole and sprayed it with the Lysol lemon scented disinfectant spray. Uh, I, I, th I thought it seemed that my, the birds had kind of pulled it back out. So I went back out and I took some plastic bags. I took two plastic bags and I poked them into the hole and I was amazed at how much room there was inside that hole. It, it was uh, uh, almost as though the birds had some sort of sonar that they knew there was a space in in behind there I don't know how they would know that but you know they say you know bats can fly in the dark with with uh, with sonar uh, well maybe birds have some sort of sonar too that we don't know and uh, they can tell if there's a if there's a space in behind something like for like a hollow log or <laughs> or a hollow wall but you know it, it was kind of sad because I saw in my uh, surveillance camera that later uh, they they came along about an hour later and, and tried to pull that plastic bag out and that, that was heart wrenching I'll tell you. And then they, as far as I can tell, they eventually gave up. Uh, yeah, I, I feel I feel really really bad about that. Uh, I haven't seen any comments yet uh, for for the, the video, but. Uh, uh, I, I can imagine that people are going to be feeling bad for the birds. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's let's not beat this to death about how we all feel bad for the birds. And and uh, I'm sure you understand. I had to do something because where, where they were going in, if they kept if they kept coming in, uh, they they would be in the back room where I want to put up the second model table. You know, and I'd be sitting there working away, and all of a sudden a, a bee could come through the wall. Uh, well, not really, but, uh, well, it could have. I mean, why not? If I just didn't do anything about it, they, they, they just might move right in. You know, uh, I was thinking afterwards, if it had have been in the attic, if they had have been going into the attic, I think I would have just let them go. And then after they moved out for the, for the winter and went south, I'd, I'd plug up the hole and so that they wouldn't come back again next spring. But it wasn't the attic. It, they would have been into my back room. <laughs> okay, let's see if, what we can do here. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to make it so that one of these uh, sides uh, swings out or if I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, got to remember how this goes. <laughs> I, I used to know. I made it. Okay, I want the rough side in. I'm not. I'm not going to smooth this this out like I did nine years ago with the other one. Oh yeah, I, I did check. It was nine years ago that I that I did that. <laughs> wow, time just flies. Okay, I got to stop talking here because I can't talk and work at the same time. Okay, now I know how it's supposed to go. Like, like this, and that's the roof. Okay, let's, let's just get started. It, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to hold together. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. Uh, this looks like about one and a half inch. These look like one, one and three quarter maybe. The uh, regulator downstairs is set to 80 pounds, and so it'll be 80 pounds right here. But when I squeeze the trigger, it takes a while for this long line to recharge itself, so I won't be able to go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> All right, what, what do we do first? Let's do the roof first. 
No, let's do this first. Okay. I know, I'm going to get a comment. Your fingers are too close to the blade. Okay. Then I'll be getting comments from somebody. I shot myself in the foot with one of those things. I wouldn't go near it. Okay, now if we want to have one of these that opens out on the side to clean out, I don't know if I ever will. I, see, the idea is you, you'd have sort of like on a hinge here, and uh, it's kind of a tight fit. And it should, should swing out like this. I suppose I could just put one in at the top up here and the same on the other side now it should swing out still okay and then I'll, I'll drill a hole in here and put it just put a nail in um, this, this should work how am I going to fasten the perch in? Oh, Tennessee Jim? How's a hollow chisel mortiser? <laughs> that was nine years ago, I, it was the last time I used it. <laughs> okay. I guess I should do it so you can see what I'm doing, eh? Hey, starting to talk like a Canadian. Yeah, that, that's not going to come out. And the roof. Now, because I'm going to want to probably have this up against something, and you know, normally you'd think, well, the roof would go like that, but I like to have it like this.
Okay. The things I won't do for birds. Okay, let's uh, wonder if we should put one more at an angle this way here. It didn't blow out the side. If you, if you, if you aim these things just right, you have to. If you envision where it's going to go, and if it doesn't hit a knot and, and blow out the side, uh, you can pretty well tell. Well, you can envision where it's going to go. Okay. Well, maybe it could have gone just a little bit further. There. Now it won't come open all by itself yet that's okay I know where it went and yet in the um, fall or whenever or next spring if I feel like it I can be easy to clean out okay that's what my that's what my magnets for I don't need to bend over <laughs> I think we're about uh, done except for where am I going to put it in the back on the house and uh, put something up the back here and I'll do that off camera. <laughs>